Welcome to the bottom of the world. Yes, the bottom. I am now in the southernmost city in the world. This is officially the edge of the southern world. There is no more civilization from this point onwards. I traveled for three days to get here and show you one thing. Antarctica, the seventh and last continent. It's not easy to get to Antarctica. I took a flight from Dubai to London, London to Amsterdam, Amsterdam to Buenos Aires, Argentina, Buenos Aires to Ushuaia, the bottom of the world. And from here, I am getting on an expedition ship like this one. And staying in this room by myself for 11 days to sail all the way to the cleanest, driest, emptiest, coldest and most interesting continent in the world. To Antarctica! To Antarctica! To Antarctica! <sighs> to Antarctica! That's one minute. See you tomorrow from the middle of the ocean. It's so shaky and it's so windy. This is the roughest sea in the world. More than 800 ships drowned right in this water. I am making my way to Antarctica, the coldest and windiest continent in the world. But before I get there, we have to cross the roughest sea in the world. It's called the Drake Passage. This water is so rough because three oceans meet here, the Atlantic, Pacific, and Southern Ocean. The winds here are fast and the waves are high. Some can be as high as 30 meters. It's so hard to cross the Drake Passage that it drives you crazy. You cannot walk straight in the corridor. You cannot sleep well at night. You cannot balance yourself at the gym. You can't even weigh yourself properly. You can't even tell what your weight is. It keeps changing. What is my weight? After two full days of this, many people get seasick and puke. That's why I had to take medicine just to cross the Drake Passage. But all of this is worth it because two days later, oh my God, I woke up and it's right there. I see it. I see it. The first ice is right there. The beginning of Antarctica, the magical continent, the whitest, loneliest, and highest continent in the world. Click follow, because tomorrow I will show you this. Antarctica. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. Oh my God. I officially landed on the seventh continent! The hardest, loneliest, emptiest, driest, coldest, windiest, and highest continent in the world, Antarctica. This is it. There is nothing like it, and it will blow your mind. Oh my god. Wow. That's crazy. Continental Antarctica. Right there. Humans landed on this continent only 130 years ago. It's very recent. And today, no one lives here permanently. The total population here is zero. In Antarctica, it does not rain. The ice is frozen for millions of years. It's considered a desert. A desert. <laughs> it's also the driest and the windiest place on Earth. And also the coldest. Oh my God, it is cold. The record cold was minus 90 Celsius degrees. Antarctica has a lot of penguins, lots of seals, and lots of frozen water. 70% of the world's fresh water is frozen here. Antarctica 
is storing it for us. And if it melts, it would flood the whole world. No joke. The same ice is also reflecting the sun back to space. So Antarctica keeps temperatures low for the rest of the world. And I bet you didn't know that. Antarctica! No one can live in Antarctica. But if this place disappears, we will all die. Antarctica is cold, lonely, and dry. But you should love it because it keeps all of us alive. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. What is the time in Antarctica? Well, turns out there is no time. Time doesn't work here. I'm not joking. Let me explain. I am now spending 10 days in Antarctica, the continent at the bottom of the earth. Antarctica! And I found out that it's hard to schedule a Zoom meeting because Antarctica does not have a time zone. It is so far south that all time zones meet here in the South Pole. So technically, every time zone is correct in Antarctica. And because no one lives here permanently, there is no official time zone. So, how can you tell time in Antarctica? Well, just choose the time zone that you like. It's as simple as it sounds. If you like New York time zone, just put your clock to 3 p.m. If you like Singapore time zone, then for you, it's 3 a.m. In the summer, it is so bright, 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. look the same. What's the time for you? 3 a.m. 5 p.m. 6 a.m. 2 p.m. Midnight. 4.15 p.m. Any number works. It does not matter and no one cares. So come to Antarctica to forget about time. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. Here is something you did not know about Antarctica. Did you know that war is not allowed here? Yes, all countries agreed to have no war, no military, no army bases, no nuclear weapons, no mining, nothing in the entire continent of Antarctica just to protect it. In the news, you see countries fighting wars every single day, everywhere. But here in Antarctica, we don't fight. In fact, it's incredible how much peace we have here. In 1961, everybody agreed to protect Antarctica. 54 countries share government here and own Antarctica. No country can mine minerals. No country can use it for war. And it's not just countries. It's also tourists. No tourist can touch animals. No tourist can annoy a penguin. Can you please stay five meters away from the birds? No tourist can step on the penguin highway. Penguins come all the way to the top of the colony. No tourist can step on vegetation. No tourist can bring outside food. No tourist can fly a drone. No tourist can even kneel on the ground. In fact, all tourists must wear special boots and clothes and wash them before stepping on the continent and wash them again after coming back. And we can't even have more than a hundred tourists at a time just to protect the environment. It's just 100 tourists? 100 people at a time. That's why you see so much wildlife. That whale was incredible. Penguins, birds, whales and seals still kicking in Antarctica. Imagine a world where we can all live as one. This is it, Antarctica. We can be negative about many things, but when it comes to Antarctica, we did it. We protected this together. Now, let's protect the rest of the planet. Guys, in the middle of Antarctica, in the freezing cold, I found 
these two ladies. Hi, I'm Sammy and I'm 83. Hi, I'm Marilyn Wallace. I'm 68, but you better turn it around. It's hard for me to say my age. Their story will inspire you. Sammy and Marilyn are sisters from Los Angeles. Their husbands passed away. They have no children, and they are the last of the family tree. I beat cancer three times. I beat cancer twice. That's five times total. That's right. The two sisters think that life is too precious to let go, and that's why they decided to live life to the maximum every single day. You're going to the boat. You're going to the boat. You're going to the boat. Let's go to the boat. Here in Antarctica, they are getting on expedition boats to explore the seventh continent. It was so much fun. They're chasing penguins and seals. They are hiking freezing mountains. They are working out at the gym. And they're even competing on who can lift more. I do 10. Sammy's stronger. Sammy's littler than I, but she's stronger than I. <laughs> this was great. But what is their secret to such a life? The secret to a long, healthy life is simple. Having something to look forward to. Every three months, the sisters create a plan that excites them. In next month, you're going to 90th birthday in, in St. Louis, right? St. Yeah. Louis, yes. And then you go in August to Mozambique, Africa. Yes, correct. correct. With some doctors. What is left on your bucket list? I've been into the Netherlands, but I haven't been there at tulip time. So that's another one on my list. Yes, traveling to Antarctica is expensive. But the big idea here is simple. I see so many people reach the age of 60 and give up on life. They have nothing to look forward to. They have nothing left to see. And that is when they die. But look at these sisters. They are 85 plus years old. They beat cancer five times. They go to the gym and they're exploring the coldest, harshest continent in the world. I am 83 and I am so happy to be able to do all these things and still do it. Life is a gift. So let's not waste that gift.